be Why are gas prices so high? Because of assholes who drive around the country in gas guzzling trucks for no good reason. A rodeo is part of American history and very much alive in the Old West. But right now, real life cowboys will tell you they're getting a stiff kick from high gas prices. CNN's Thelma Gutierrez saddled up and moseyed over to the rodeo in Salinas, California. Deer wrestler out right now, 100 to 40. Which is my favorite. They are modern day cowboys on the rodeo circuit. Charles Harris from Salinas, California. Daryl Petrie, Beaumont, Texas. Ah! Matt Reeves, Pampa, Texas. They travel the country to earn a living. And rodeo to make a name. Next steer wrestler getting ready, Charles Harris. Yes, Daryl Petrie. It's a sport where the athletes pay to play. This isn't like football, where the best of the best get to go to college. It's all an even playing field, and somebody else su supplies all the equipment. We have to supply our own. It takes big money to stay on the circuit. Entry fees, animal costs, and now, killer fuel prices. So how difficult has this gas crunch been on you guys? Oh, very, very. Uh... Charles has been a professional cowboy for more than a decade. He says some of his friends are dropping out because they can't afford to go from rodeo to rodeo. Like this truck right here, it's got a 75-gallon tank in the back and a 30-gallon and a tank for a manufacturer. Back in 99, it would cost you maybe $150. Compared to now, if I was to drive down to the pilot in town, it cost me five and a quarter. Consider this, these rigs get 10 miles a gallon. Daryl and Matt will drive about 70,000 miles this year to compete in at least 70 rodeos, just to qualify for the national finals. I mean, last year fuel was $3, now it's $5 for diesel. I mean, that's almost double the expense going down the road because that's their big expense is fuel. So, you know, if you think you're gonna make some money this year, you, it just got ate up in the fuel price. So far this year, Daryl has won $18,000. How much have you guys spent in the last month? Probably $3,500. Um, $3,500 in one month? Yes, ma'am. Just so. on fuel? Just on fuel. It really yes, cuts into your bottom it, line. Yes, ma'am. There's almost not a bottom line. We just, like I said, I mean, it all breaks down to it. We do it because we love it, you know, not because we're going to make a ton of money and get rich at it. We do it because we love it. You get to do what you want to do, and you get to live your dream. The cowboys you just met have second jobs to be able to afford to do what they love. Charles is a farmer, Matt was a school teacher, and Daryl manages a Salvation Army warehouse when they're not on the road. They say they'd never trade their cowboy lifestyle for a permanent 9-to-5 job unless they're forced to because of what's happening in the economy. Miles.